uh, I'm specialized in pharmaceutical sciences. And as I'm always proud to say, I'm a humanitarian before I'm a scientist. So I'll start my presentation with a question that inspired me at the Africa Science Leadership Program. Is suffering optional? Seems we have a technical problem. OK. Is suffering optional? Or do diseased people who are suffering and in their most vulnerable condition, do they have to suffer really from the consequences of treatment? Or can we do something about that? There is a common misconception, or should I say myth conception, among clinicians is that dosing the maximum is much more better than maximizing the dose. And there's a huge difference between the two approaches. The first approach, which is dosing the maximum, and let me give you an example with cancer chemotherapy. The clinicians are so much focused on giving a high dose of the medication so that they can make sure that it reaches the cancer cells and kills them. But what about the healthy cells? Why do they have to suffer of the consequences of delivering the drug to them? The other approach, on the other hand, it focuses on maximizing the efficacy of a certain dose. So imagine if you give a dose which is so little, but you manage to maximize its efficacy so that you can achieve comparable outcome. So here comes nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is based on the use of nanoparticles for the treatment of diseases. And what's unique about the nanoparticles is that they are very small in size, and they have so much unique composition that they are able to be uptaken to the cells and give a tremendous effect. But so many people are working on nanoparticles. What's unique about my research? What we are currently developing are termed nanocomposite particles. And as the term implies, composite means a hybrid of several types. So the nanocomposite particles that we're developing, they are actually a hybrid of several nanoparticle types. And this hybrid makes sure that this nanoparticle is safe, biodegradable, and effective. What's even more promising about my research is that within those nanocomposite particles, I'm loading, or we are actually doing research, on loading natural compounds within these composite particles. So imagine if you can take a comp component from a fruit, for example, mango, from grapes, from whatever, you just put it in those nanocomposite particles, and you, gi you get, you get the, your effect. So the unique thing about these composite particles is that you can decorate them with several stuff to achieve your outcome. Results from my research have been very promising. We actually managed to increase the amount of drugs, these nanocomposite particles with the drugs in case of lung cancer cells. Also, we have managed to increase the amount of the drugs in the brain for treatment of neurodegenerative disorders such as Alzheimer's. And what's even more promising is that our composite particles are clinically relevant. They have been successful in the treatment of basal cell carcinoma, in the treatment of psoriasis, and in the treatment of skin fungal infections. So I know that clinicians would be reluctant to change their approach and try to dose minimally rather than maximally. But what if we can do this? What if we can dose really minimally rather than maximally? What if we can go natural with nanotechnology? Then suffering would be optional. Thank you so much.